Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past one video, I am working on developing a filter application, an advanced filter application uh, with which I can filter the records based on various dates okay like if i want to view the details of last seven days i can view it okay so as you can see here there is no product uh, found uh, in last seven days so let me just add it okay okay uh, sham sham okay and then mobile number okay next item okay. Vivo mobile okay next price 12000 and date okay let me just select yes it is okay so now when i click on add item it will show a messages item added successfully and now when i go to my home page and now if i want to view the records that i have st stored in last seven days if i want to view the sales of last seven days then now it will display me one record okay so uh, similarly if i want to view the details of last 28 days i can view that okay if i want to view the details of, of last 90 days I can view that as well if I want to view the sales of this month I can view that okay so like this this application we are going to develop in this complete tutorial series okay so in last video as well I had given you the complete overview of this application and since this is the second video of our series in this video I will create a database and table okay so for that i will go to php my admin and here i will create a database okay as the database name is filter app okay i will just create it okay and i will give it a name okay here i am giving the name of my table okay, tbl tbl underscore filter okay and i want six fields I'll click on go okay so now the first field will be id and then ID okay, and then second one is customer name customer name okay, and then second one is customer mobile okay, next third one is item purchased okay, next is price paid and the last one is purchased date okay yes purchase date okay so now this will be of type date okay and price paid will be of type integer item purchase will be where care customer mobile will be where care and then customer name will be back okay and then i'll just make it a size as 100 okay yeah 100 as well okay so i will just click on auto increment and set it as a primary key okay now click go and now i will click on save okay so now as you can see here we have created a table with six fields okay so this table we will use in our next video for establishing the connection with our application okay so from the next video i will start uh, creating the project or this application and i will create a
structure or directory structure for our application and i will uh, create a config file where i will write the code for establishing the connection with this database okay so uh, that's all for this video guys i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching